how can you raise gap funds? Okay, so gap funds is when you are actually, um, actually, if you can keep admitting people, if you don't mind, because I'll focus on this. So gap funds are what you need. Let's say you bought a property and you don't have enough money to rehab it. Um, you bought a property and uh, you think you're going to start cash flowing, but next thing you know, you got a roof problem and all this was unexpected. So you need to raise more capital. Of course, the best way to have this structure is to be structured in a real estate fund because you will raise some money and part of your raise, you will have what's called capital reserves. Even banks right now request capital reserves. All banks, more and more private lenders even are asking for cash reserves, etc. So my suggestion is either get a partner if you already have the property and you're short money, short of some money, get a partner. And when you get a partner, you got to tell them, I already own the property or I'm buying the property and I need extra money. And this is what I offer you. And nothing will ruin your deal if you don't know how to structure it because the money is in the structure. I always say that it's not the strategy. Everybody has a strategy, but do you have a structure? Do you have a fund to accept money? Do you have an attorney you can talk to to set up an LLC if it's going to be a true partnership, which is usually problematic because if you both have the same power of voting, etc., cetera, um, it ends up being a bit of a struggle. I like real estate funds because one person leads the way and then everybody's getting a certain return. And if you make a mistake, you've already filed with the SEC, you're going to have a problem. So you don't go raise money unless you know what you're doing. But let's say in your case, you can probably get a lien, a second lien, second mortgage, second trust deed with private lenders or um, you can actually just get a partner for a bridge loan or something like this and record the financing on the second lien. Now, second liens will be expensive, especially in today's market. It's very high risk. Lenders are confused and they don't know even what to offer exactly. So let me give you, uh, Christina is in Massachusetts. Am I right, Ashley? There are a couple lenders that through the years, you know, been in business so long, I had to go Google, uh, I'm sorry, go search on my emails, people, students from uh, that part of the country. There are two lenders that work in that part of the country, fkcapital.com, uh, I'm sorry, fkcapitalfund.com, F like Frank, K like Kilo, capitalfund.com, check with them, they do in Massachusetts and altlendinggroup.com, alt as an alternative, A-L-T, lendinggroup.com. So for Christina, she can try both of them. Don't be surprised if they have crazy terms. And uh, I would always suggest to seek partnership or better yet, set up a real estate fund so you can do it right from the get-go. And when you set up a fund, offer what's reasonable. Don't offer what what's crazy, offer them, hey, listen, we're not going to be able to do any payout for seven months until we have that property because we're flipping it. Let's say that's your deal. I have my own structure. It worked for me. We've helped many people structure. There's a way to do it right. That's how I survived from 2008, eight, uh, disaster, 9, 10, 11, all the way till now. Even through COVID, we still did fine. We just did the payout for February 28. Everybody got paid. People, Some people cashed out. Some people came in. Seek a partner or get private lending. I gave you two private lenders and eventually set up a fund if you're going to get serious about that. Mm-hmm.